What's going on guys, it's all of Blitzel here, and today I'm back with a very funny deck. It's probably one that you've ran into ladder a time or two, and it's uh, Lunar Rock. It, this deck really uh, stormed up to the scene after Pokemon Go came out. It never really uh, did anything well uh, competitively, but it was everywhere on ladder, and it's so annoying to uh, face. It, it took so long to use all those stun energies, so it was quickly became one of the most hated decks in format. But um, ever since like Lost Origin came out, it went from like a fringe meme deck to just completely unviable so i wanted to give it for a spin one time just to see if i could uh, get it to beat lugia if i could just make it generally competitive in, in this format and i still don't think it's the most competitive ever it is quite fun to play and it is quite hilarious some of the reactions you get out of your opponents uh stay tuned for the games after this one we have uh like it's just funny how like people get so upset over like d d they're gonna beat you but they just get so upset over you playing a deck that they just like spam emails on pdcgo it's hilarious that people do that and it makes them feel better but uh this list is very very basic i'm trying to boss two serena so i have a little consistency boost from the serena as well as i have three carriers three pokey stops and then my only really like i would say attack card i guess if you could call it that is echoing horn because uh louis is probably going to try to pick up or not have too many two prizes down so if we close up the game with echoing horn that'd be really good pokey stops obviously insane with this deck we have a ton of item cards we want to get our energies down um so this deck is it's very fast it's actually a pretty solid deck if you want to uh, move up the ladder quickly definitely not the most competitive deck ever but we had some very fun games um so stay tuned and watch all those and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the battles all right we're getting into some games now going first so this deck honestly does not mind going second too badly but um Going first is nice because we can build up our uh, Lunatones uh, be before our opponent has any turn. So we're against Arceus Drought on this game. Lost City is quite scary. <coughs> oh, sorry. I. <laughs> so the Lost City does mean we have to be somewhat careful with our uh, re rescue carriers and also our Pokey subs because we can't afford to lose too many Lunatones. If they start Lost Sitting Soul Rocks, we're going to be. I guess that means they're not taking energy out of play, but it's still not going to be too nice. Like, especially if we set up slowly and then they have the luxury to be able to gust and loss and soul rocks. They're going to be in trouble, but I got two energies and a, a choice belt on this Lunatone on the first turn. So we're looking to be in pretty good shape to take an Arceus out on uh, the next turn. Uh, there is a Pokey Stop. Just getting a fighting energy. So my opponent's hand is obviously not super strong if they're using the my Pokey Stop. But they did find a Quick Ball, which can get them to Arceus. They have an attachment, a switch. And then we'll see each one each charge. So probably about as good as you could ask for from my opponent. So hopefully we can take out this, this Arceus. That would be awesome. So open things up with the concealed cards. Uh, dang. I'm going to Poke Stop then. Nothing to discard any energies. So I'm going to... So we're currently hitting for 100 and... Uh, wait. Yeah, uh, 180. So we need... There's 210. Wait. Am I doing my, my math right? Wait. Well, no, I'm hitting 180 right now. Don't listen to me. I don't. It's, it's early in the morning when I'm recording this because I got kind of behind yesterday and I had to make my video uh, today. So I'm sorry about the late upload. I just had to. I got kind of screwed up yesterday, but um, I'll be back. Hopefully, I have a normal schedule for the rest of the week. I just had a busy day yesterday, so I didn't have time in the. Like, I usually um, edit in the evening. And I didn't have that time yesterday. So um, we are. So they it got the Duralit on VMAX down. It's very unlikely that we can ever one-shot this guy, especially after using a couple scuba nets already. There's a Lost City and a Pulverization. So we're probably not going to be able to one-shot it, but at least we can still uh, do some pretty nice damage to it. So I'll counter that Lost City. Tracking Shoes. I will keep that Choice Belt. Pokey Stop does not get us very far, but did discard a couple Psychic Energies. So three Sun Energies. I'll carry her back that Soul Rock that we discarded. The first turn, Sun Energy, Attachment, Belt. Um, actually, I don't have to attach the Belt. That's fine, I think, because even if they do, I, th I think I probably should have, because it'll make my life easier if they just have a Hyper Potion, which they did. So I think I definitely should have attached the Choice Belt. It would make me just, I think so I would just need one less energy to get this knockout on the next turn. Instead of um, needing eight, I would just need seven with the choice belt so probably misplayed there but i think it's unlikely that i get seven down anyway because i need both of my scuba nets and yeah i'm pretty un unlikely so they benched another rcs 
and then pass it on over to or then pulverization for the knockout so i'll bench a lunatone put four energies on it with all the sun energies the, i can't imagine how choppy and gross this would be on tcg live like that would be such an unpleasant experience and it's i'm still very nervous on what my content's gonna look like here in a couple weeks or just the pokemon uh, pokemon youtube community in general because I, I i just don't know it's i don't um let me know in the comments if, if you think it's got better to, uh, better at all i haven't really i haven't played it uh since that tournament i tried i'm i don't know we'll, we'll figure something out but i'm just not super thrilled about the future i mean i'm definitely going to be migrating and playing on tcgl because i will be on to playing the new cards um i already have like an idea in my head like a, a new setup like, i could sort of have instead of just me talking uh, maybe i could have like um some sort of background and maybe even a, a face cam when i um go and cast these battles over after the, the fact but we'll see i'm still trying to work things out if you have any ideas or suggestions i'm more than happy to hear them so um as always just leave them in the comments i'll i'll, I'll get to them eventually i might not respond right away but i'll get to i get to try to, get to answer every single comment so there they got to the rcs so they can find a switching card and probably a lost city too which not great uh i already have two new towns lost zone then so and we we're out of pokey stops so we might run out of attackers um so does all right they already spent one switch so do they have a second switch there's a pokey stop i mean it's like a hard hard retreat with a double turbo they should play a rope this is a huge mistake because they cannot take my energy out of play, so now I'm easily going to be able to one-shot this Duraludon. That was that was a very bad play. Because I don't need this Radiant Greninja anymore. My deck is 16 cards. And I have a Research in hand. Yeah, the double Hard Retreat was definitely the better play for my opponent. I don't... That was really bad. So, I'm going to... Hisuian, and then a Research. Sun Energy, so we're going to have this knockout. Just need uh, 7 Energies. And then I can also bank a Sun Energies and an attachment to the bench guy, just making sure. And my opponent does concede. So, yeah, definitely a bad play by my opponent. I think hard retreating would have been correct there. It doesn't mean I, I necessarily would not have gotten that knockout. But uh, it would have made my life a lot more difficult. So, uh, my opponent is taking a little bit here. So, come on, opponent. There we go. And not that hard to choose first or second, honestly. It's but 99% of the time you're going to be picking first. Just, unless you're playing expanded, then second's usually better. But standard, 99% of the time going first is better. So this person's just all around slow, I guess. So now we finally get to <laughs> finally get to look at our cards. because So I will promote the Soul Rock and then... Let's see, this is my opponent. I guess Lugia, darn it. Not a great matchup for us. We have to, we, we can't, we, we pretty much have to drop perfectly to beat Lugia. And this hand is not exactly it. We have a Radiant Greninja, like off a battle VIP pass, but we don't have much else. Uh, we need to conceal cards to really uh, get us there. Ooh, we can take out their only Lugia. Battle VIP off the top, Lunatone the prize cards, but Boss and Serena being prized is a bit rough. So I'll get a Greninja and a Soul Rock. Then I will battle the IP pass. Once again, get down two more soul rocks. I would normally go for mana fee, but like I think my only win condition, or I can pretty much uh, uh, auto win this game if I get uh, this Lugia knockout. But unfortunately, I'm just not discarding any energies. The Pokey Stop gave me uh, Echoing Horns is nice, but I'd really prefer it to be an energy right now. So I'm going to net the Greninja Conceal cards, hopefully, find more energies or I can research or something. There is a shoe, so I'll quick bot the Echoing Horn to thin a little bit, grab that mana fee. Drinking shoes. Serena is cards, so I guess I'll keep it. Bench the Lunatone, do a couple Sun Energies, attach the Choice Belts, I'll net the Active, and then net the Radiant Greninja. If I spent almost all my nets, I kind of had to net the Radiant Greninja so I can keep the energies down. So I have three Sun Energies. I need my other net though, right? Because with. I can sell cards. I should quick bolt out that paddle VIP. Or I can quick bolt out the psychic like energy. Or I can just raw attach it. But it doesn't really do much for me just to um, attach it to the active. So I will just hit with the sun energy for, or with the moon kinesis for 150. 
unfortunately could not quite get there. Just the energies were not getting, getting to the discard pile. Our opponent does hit Pokey Stop and discard a speed energy, which is pretty nice. They've already attached um, the Aurora energy and they discard a speed, so it might be hard for them to use Raikou. But if they can Raikou, we're feeling really bad. Even a Stalin would be really bad because we already sent three nets. So yeah, we are definitely not in a great spot. Um, and we just started the Manaphy going for that really aggressive uh, play, which I think I still think it was the correct way to go because if we take that Lugia knockout, we pretty much just win the game. But uh, we didn't get there, which is just like the unfortunate part about like Luna Rock. Like you can sometimes get there and sometimes you, you don't, and we just didn't. It's a, it is a, a lot of cards, and unfortunately our Pokestop we didn't draw into very many energies and our Pokestop stopped and discard very many, so we were just sort of um, didn't just didn't get a whole lot going. They did they do grab the Raikou, which definitely has me nervous that they're going to Amazing Shot this turn. There's the double Archeops. There's a one Primal Turbo, so uh, maybe they'll be stout landing and so it'd be really bad. Either way, we are just in a horrible position. Um, we need to be able to net up one of our Pokemon and then. Uh, you put that mana fee down because if, if the issue in, in this matchup is th they take two prizes with Raikou, two prizes with Stoutland, and then we it's nearly impossible for us to take all six of our prizes before they can. So I'm just going to grab that mana fee. It sucks top decking the rescue carrier. No energy or no um, scoop of net. We have plenty of energy now, of course, when we don't really need them. So a quick ball out the quick ball, grab the uh, Lunatone. We're looking for that one net. Rope is not going to cut it. Ah oh, man, we came up short once again. So I'm just going to go back into the Greninja, attach energy to Soul Rock for the pivot next turn and pass. So yeah, this is not great. Okay, we need to be able to gust the Stoutland and knock it out next turn. We need to find boss's orders, which we pretty much just need to find off the top. And remember, two are prized. So I have a 1 in 12 chance of top taking my 1 boss's orders. I think I have a shoe left too, so I have a bit better odds than that. I also have up as a potential top deck. So not the worst odds in the world. But yeah, if they, if, if they gust and doubles it, my mana feed the game's over. Okay, they did not. They just used that Tempest Dive. And so we're going to be able to promote our Soul Rock. No boss's orders, unfortunately. Choice Belt's not a bad find, but... Uh, Frustrating. This game just not got my way. So I'll use all four sun energies. I'm gonna I can hold the hand here, honestly. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold the hand because I have the choice belt. Well let's take this knockout. So we're probably gonna see a stout one come down and take the two prizes. So unfortunately like this is where Eichling Horn could come in and clutch because they double dip for two. I take two back with a moon kinesis, and then I would get Eichling Horn back down a Lugia and win the game. But uh, I just had to discard it the first turn to try to go for that big knockout. So, yeah, definitely not in great positioning here. If my opponent just goes one prizer, one prizer. As long as I just don't bench it down, then they're two prizer. They have this game down. So, definitely not, not good for us. But we will we'll still try. And they're happy, too. That's good, good for you. <laughs> so, we will attach all these energies. Attach the choice belts. We have the knockout on the Stoutland. Now they're surprised and angry. All right, don't be this guy. Like you're gonna win the game, and you're just spamming emotes. Like does doesn't prove anything. Just proves that you're not a very nice person. And I don't know if someone says I like, mean to him today, but if you're watching this video, um, opponent, uh, you can reach out to my email, and we can. And uh, I'm happy to talk over any of your your problems. It's I. I just don't understand people that do do that. Like, I don't know if they think they're like hurting my feelings or making me upset because it doesn't bother me at all. It's just kind of stupid, honestly. They bench the mini on. All right, we have a chance. Wouldn't it be funny? All right, we have boss sorted. We just need to find a Lunatown, assuming they don't Marnie. Man, what if we actually won this game after they just they just spammed all those emotes and we were able to come back and win? That'd be hilarious. No Marnie. Okay, we just. Unfortunately, we put our carrier and our Lunatone to the bottom of the deck. So we need a nice top deck, but we could still win this one. Oh my goodness. I want to win this one so bad. <laughs> that was such a misplay. You just attack with Raikou, load up Charizard, and there's no way that I win. 
but you had to dig deeper, so. So, alright. <laughs> Come on, tough to loot loot zone. We need something. A pokey stop is definitely something. Alright, tracking shoes? No? Come on. <laughs> oh, man. So our bottom, in our bottom three cards, we have one Lunatone and a Rescue Carrier. So that's frustrating. I don't know what our last card is, um, other than the Carrier, or other than the Lunatone Carrier. So we're going to have to guess with the Orange Guru, attach the active and pass, and hope they don't have energies left, which it's not going to matter because we've lost cards left. So we're always going to deck out first. We discarded our other boss's orders with Pokies up. So we were so close after they... Uh, after they did all their emotes, we almost got there because of their mistake. Dang it, we were so close. If we... I guess... No, nah, it was fine not popping the carrier before the... Before the Marnie. Dang it. Uh, uh, I wondered if that was so bad. but And now, yeah. They, Maybe they're actually being serious with that woo that was close. I somehow doubt it, though, considering their early actions. Um, yeah, and they're playing down all their cards. So, very well played opponent. You you proved a point, and now, um, I don't know. I just, I, I, I kind of that, playing that playing this deck yesterday, that I, I just don't understand why people act that way. Like, I was multiple people that I faced. That I know Lunarok is not the funnest deck to play against, and it's kind of a stupid deck, and... Um, that doesn't mean you get to just be a jerk about it. Like, there are a lot of decks that are not very fun to, to face, and I and I Lunarok isn't that good, but still, it just doesn't give you a free pass to be rude to your opponent. So our opponent, if it's a roar, man, if he passes, we can get a donkey. We actually can be Lugia. I'm gonna attach the psychic to the active and research. Uh, I guess we can drop the mana fee too, and we found uh, Soul Rock and. No, I don't know what I'm doing here. I have it. I have game in hand. Yep. So we will sun energy, scuba net, and then sun energy, and take the game with a moon kinesis. That's a quick one. That's how you beat Lugia, uh, dog them before they can even s set up. All right, into our final game. All right, come on. I'm tr trying. I, I just hope that we can get. A, I was hoping to get a win over Lugia. So hopefully we can get one of this game. So this hand's not great. We need a raking Greninja to really help us out. Because as things stand, things are not looking great. Genesect means we're against Mew this time. So I'm going to grab the Radiant Greninja and a Lunatone. So I'll conceal cards, out a Psychic. Um, uh, Sun Energy, I'll attach, and then I will pass. So we're um, in a solid position to take a knockout on a Genesect on the, on the following turn. I guess our, our optimal prize map is probably going 2-2-2. Two, 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 and um, KOing... Genesex and Mew uh, V Max or Mew V is not V Max. Mew V Max is a bit of a stretch. You know, if they have Lost City, you like Lost City or Soul Rocks are early and make things hard for us to take knockouts, and this is where things get really bad. Or even Hand Disruption is kind of bad for us. This got a Chandelure, so it's like some sort of like Dream Ball Mew deck. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it must be. They just got a Thievul as well. So, Dream Ball Mew. I've, like, messed around with Dream Ball and Arceus and Palkia. Um, I saw, I've seen it in Mew to Union, but I've never seen it in Mew before. Kind of a, a cool idea, though. It, it means you're not weak to, as weak to Drapion. Uh, the the Thieve Ball means they have to get through Mew VMAX to win the game, so... Pretty interesting idea. I don't know how consistent it is, but... Considering you have to leave a bench spot open, I can't imagine it's super great. Because uh, you really want to, want to flood your board and open it, um, just like go for Genesex to Muse or th three and three. So I'd be curious to see how much uh, if, if this person actually gets a lot of value out of, out of that. It's just something that they're experimenting with. So I'm going to Marnie. I'm sorry if I sound a little congested this morning. It's just I don't know. I just I, I'm sorry about it. I, I'm not recording at my usual time, so I'm all out of sorts. But um, this is okay. We. We move on, so we're going to grab a Soul Rock. Hopefully, this Pokestop can discard some energies. There we go. That's nice. We can keep that research. Get a couple uh, Soul Rocks on our bench. Sun Energy, Sun Energy, and then Moon Kinesis for the knockout. So I was very fortunate to discard two Psychics off of that um, Pokestop. Pokestop, after failing ourselves, failing us in that Lugia game, 
uh, redeems himself with that with that one. So our opponent really has to take this knockout. Or things are going to get out of hand. And as I ride, Lunatown can sort of spiral out of control. Like if your opponent, um, it can sometimes it just pop off and you're and take out one of your opponent's only Pokemon. And if it gets ahead. And you can like build up one huge Lunatone and build up another one in the back. That's when your opponent really cannot win because even if they throw a big VMAX in your face and you like bank three energies on another Lunatone, it's not unrealistic to reach all the way up to 300 damage, which is kind of funny. Make, makes the deck definitely very fun to play. But like like I said in the intro, your your matchup spread is not super great. Like Lost in Box, um, Lugia are all not great matchups. They're definitely winnable, but uh, most of the time you are going to lose. Uh, but I think Mew is a lot better of a, uh, a lot better of a matchup, just because we um, it's not as hard for us to take six prizes. Like they're gonna have relatively um, easier knockouts on their bench. So I'm going to bench the Lunatone, Sun and Energy, Sun Energy. Early will nap the active. Um, honestly, I I'm probably how an escape rope would be really cool here. But we've already used both our ropes, so I'm just going to. A research. Um, Echoing Horn is kind of an interesting card. I don't know how good it is though. Pokey Stop. Ah, he's carded a Lunatone. That's not good. So, we'll Sun Energy a couple times. And we'll just hit for uh, 180 and put a lot of pressure on this V Max. Nothing worth Echoing Horning because if we Echoing Horn got down to Genesect. Oh. Actually, I really like this play because hitting for 180 into Mew doesn't actually do a lot. Like, our win condition is going to be going boss, boss game. And, like, I, if I punch into them, I'm just going to get Psychic Leaped and knock out back. At least I force them to have a boss's orders. This could end up backfiring if they just have a boss in their hand. But with only four Genesects, or only four Fusion Strike Pokemon in, in play, of course they have raw boss. But, dang it. I was kind of hoping that that play would work. Maybe it was a misplay, but hindsight is 2020. So there's an ordinary raw there. I guess that makes sense if you're playing Dream Ball. Uh, there is a uh, fusion strike system for four, but only two Genesex in play. So I don't know. They're like leaving a bench spot open for that Dream Ball. Uh, but I put the boss orders back. I don't. I don't really know what like they have. I guess that Thievol would be really good. So they're, I'm playing a Psychic Energy too. So they will uh, fusion strike system. Maybe, maybe there's some other stage two that I was not even thinking about. That would just be insane. So you grab an Oracorio. They bench that, which doesn't actually change my math at all. I still um, need a six or five in a choice belt to KO a Genesect. I guess it, it means I need one more energy to KO a Mu V. So I need to find a Lunatone. Like that's gonna be uh striking shoes is a good find. Quick Quick Ball is very nice. I quick ball out the Gatling Horn. So I think Horn really was just disc was just quick ball fodder this whole game. But it would have been solid in spots against that Lugia if I would have been able to find it. But that's always like the dilemma with like one of items and stadiums and stuff like that is like how do you find it if you're not playing Inteleon. So uh, yeah, might not be worth worth it. Might just be uh, might just be too inconsistent to realistically pull off. But I'll just be able to take the knockout on this Genesect. Now we're just two prizes away from winning this game. Pokey stop, boss's orders. So not oh we we're not. It, that close to being able to take the knockout. We have a boss orders, we have a net quick ball, but I think our Lunatones will, will be down after this. We milled the one off the Pokestop. So we'll need to find a carrier. Uh, and then if we can find a couple nets and be able to gust and KO that Mew, that'd be really awesome. So they, they of course, take the knockout. I'll promote the Radiant Greninja. I don't really need him too badly anymore. There's a rescue carrier, double net as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put two energies on one and then one on the other just so I'm set up to take a knockout like either way next turn like I have two threats set up and e even if they KO the two energy one I can still realistically get up to uh, five or six next turn and this should be a good game unless we get like Roxanne then if they like Roxanne I doubt they're playing cross switchers because of all their dream ball stuff. But um, has a Dusk Noir. Why would you play that card? That card seems so bad in your own deck. Because you're just like hurting yourself. That's, that does not make a lot of sense. I mean, like, it's just ask for like Lugia so they, they can't like Amazing Destruction you. But you're shutting off your own double turbos. I don't know. That's, that, that one doesn't make a lot of sense. There's an Escape Rope, so I'll go into the one energy Lunatone. 
they already played Peonia, so they cannot gust and KO a Lunatone. So we should be able to uh, close out this game, unless they play Cross Switchers, which would be sort of weird. I feel like we would have seen some of that by now. There is another Genesect, a Lost Vacuum, I'll get rid of that Pokestop, which we of course don't mind. And then they will just um, Crash the Strike, Max Miracle. We have everything in hand to take this knockout. So we'll promote. I will. Oh, and we talked to the Hisuian too. Perfect. So we could. We could also get pretty close to KOing this Mew, but we, we won't do that. We'll just take out that uh, Genesect on the bench. That will be six energies. Can gust up that Genesect and then Moon Kinesis and take the game. So some, some fun games with Lunar Rock. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, the PTCGO import is in the description below. Very funny deck, very fun one. If just you want to have some fun on the ladder, it can get you some, some quick wins. Uh, this is one of the best decks that you can do it with. Uh, probably not quite as good as, as Quad Weezing, but still a pretty solid one. Um, if you made this fun video, I want to give you a, a huge thank you. Um, your support means so much to me. We got to 300 subscribers yesterday, which uh, really makes me super happy that we're growing this channel super quickly. So, uh, well, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all this support. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one.